Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Welcome to this week's One Image My Edit. Um, so I hope you're well. hope you're staying safe. This week, I'm going to be showing you how to create a sphere within your pictures. So this is something that was asked to do. So I thought I would show you guys as two. Um, so we're going to be creating this. This is something that you can make within Photoshop. There are a few steps. It is a little bit more advanced than what I've done previously, but I'm going to do this as slow as possible so that you can follow the steps and create this yourself. And it's very interesting and it's just something a little bit different. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to create a new file. So we go to file and then new and you want to come up to the custom and then select 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And then where it says background content, you want to click on that, come to custom and in here, that's where you type in 80, 80, 80, and that gives you uh, gray. Okay. So from there, we press okay, and then click create. And that gives us a, a working kind of board to, to start from. And then if we come up to the layers here, what we want, what we need to do is duplicate this. So you see that is, Control or Command J, and that duplicates that for us. Then what we do is we go to Filter. I'm trying to go as slow as possible so you can uh, uh, do this at the same time. So go to Filter, Render, and then Lens Flare, which is here. Okay, click on that, and you're going to select 105 mil prime. Keep it at 100, and press okay then what we do is we come back up to filter and then go down to distort and then we want to select polar coordinates there and what we're going to click on is polar to rectangular so it's this one here and then select okay once you've done that go to edit and then come down to transform and then select rotate 180 degrees. There we go. Then from there, we go to filter, distort, and we're going to go back to polar coordinates there. And this time, we're going to select the top one, so rectangular to polar there. Okay, and then click on OK and you can see there that we've made the sphere there okay so now what we need to do is select this so come up to your tools up here yours probably says rectangular marquee tool we want to select the um, elliptical marquee tool there come to the corner and click and drag across until you get the majority of the sphere which is about there okay you can keep practicing it until you get it all in um, but don't worry too much. So once we've done that, we then press Command J and that will duplicate it. And what that does is if I get rid of these eyes here, it gives us basically a clear um, background. All right. So what we need to do then is move this onto our other picture here. So to do that, come to the very top and we select the move tool, come to the middle, click don't let go, drag up to the picture, don't let go of the mouse yet, bring it down into the middle, and then let go. And now you can position this wherever you want. So I'm gonna position this just there, okay? Then what we need to do is, can you see where it says layer one up here? We need to press shift or command, and we need to click on that. And that gives us a selection, okay? Then we go to the background layer and we press command shift or command J to duplicate that. And what that does is basically give us that. Okay. So it gives us our background. Okay. Now what we need to do from there is we want to move this layer to the top. So drag it up, click and drag it up to the top there. Okay. And then Again, we need to command click on that there. Okay, so we do that. And then from there, we go to filter 
And what that's done is made a selection. Can you see? Yeah. Then we go to filter, distort, and then come down to spherize there. And leave the mode on normal, amount on 100, and then press OK. All right, and that's going to give us our, our sort of um, distortion. And then what we need to then do is change the blend mode to overlay. So come up to here where it says normal and then scroll down until you see overlay, which is there. OK, click on that. And then what we can do as well is come up to the opacity and we can just drop that slightly and that will bring the sphere back. So around 80 percent, something like that. OK. So once you've done that, you can just you click anywhere and then press Command D and that deselects everything. All right. Um, and then what we need to do from there, the next step is go back to our layer one and we need to duplicate this again. So it's Control or Command J. OK, and then we're going to drag this to the top this time. So we're going to drag that up to there. All right. And then we need to change the blend mode from normal to soft light. So click on the blend mode and then go down to soft light, which is there. And again, come to the opacity and drop this down. This time I'm going to drop that down quite a bit. You can see what that's doing there. Um, so depending on your, your image and what you're, what you're putting this onto will, will depend. But around 50% is going to be good. OK. Um, and then just click away and it will kind of get rid of that. Then what we need to do is group these layers together. So you click on the top layer, hold down shift and then click on the bottom layer one there. OK, and then press command G and that will group everything together. OK, so what that means is, is that if I come up to this arrow here, you can see all them layers are in there together. So the reason why we do that is because now we're going to double click on that folder and we're going to come down to here where it says styles and we click on drop shadow and we can then change these settings here so you can you see that there that's going to change our sphere the opacity is also going to change that um, leave it as it is okay and it will just basically add a drop shadow so press ok and and that's done and you can see it's kind of given it um, a bit of a shadow around the edges there okay <coughs> excuse me so now what we want to do is make a levels adjustment. So come down to the bottom here where this little circle is, click on that and then just scroll up to where it says levels. Click on that. Then we want to bring the black in. So click on the black, which is on the left hand side and just drag that in a little bit. OK, you see what that's doing there. It's just going to darken the image slightly for us. So once you've done that, you can leave it as it is there, come back down to the bottom and this time we're going to add a brightness and contrast. So click on that, click on the brightness and contrast and then let's drop the brightness down and let's bring the contrast up. So it's around there, it's just going to create a little bit more mood for us. OK, so you can click on this little arrow here and that will just get rid of it. Um, so now what we need to do is come down to our background layer. So click on the background layer. And again, what we need to do is duplicate. So command J. All right. So once we've done that, it will say background copy. You then need to right click. OK, and we're going to convert this to a smart object. And that means basically we can do stuff to it. We can go back and change it. All right. So now what we do is we go to filter, go to blur and then Gaussian blur. OK, and what we then want to do is the idea is that we're going to knock the background out of focus. So depending on your image and how much you want it out of focus is entirely up to you. Uh, I think around there is quite nice. It just means that this is sharp and everything else is soft. OK, so press OK to that. Then what we will need to do from this here is add a layer mask. So come down to the bottom here where you've got like this rectangle with a circle for it. Click on that and there's the layer mask that we've just added. OK, go over to the eraser tool there. Come up to the brush 
bring this down so it's a soft brush, bring it down to zero. And you can see here that I've been using this previously. So the opacity and flow, keep them really low. And then what we want to do is just slightly brush in. So the idea is, is that we're, we're actually going to make this area sharp. We're bringing back the sharpness. And it's just to give you this kind of tilt shift look. Okay. So once you've done that and you're happy, and you've got sort of a line there that you're happy with. That's fine. And you can see there that on the actual picture, you can see where it's, um, where you've been taking it out there. Okay. So once you've done that and you've taken your time with it, um, you can, uh, you know, just, just it, the idea is just to get this, this area sharp here. All right. Um, then what we need to do from there is come back to the background layer here. All right. And click on that. And then what we need to do is come over to the patch tool, which is here. So yours might say spot healing brush tool, come to the patch tool. All right. And then what we need to do is select that area that we've just basically, um, you know, that we've just made sharp. So this area here, can you see? So I'm just going around, just moving that around. If you let go, it will then select. Okay. Then we need to duplicate this. So press command J. All right. And what that's done is created layer three here which is just a selection of that, that bottom area there. Okay. Now we need to click on this and drag it up to the very, very top and then let go. <clears throat> then we need to add a layer mask. So come down to the bottom here, click on the layer mask. Okay. And then we need to bring back this bottom section here. So again, go to the eraser tool and then just start, <clears throat> excuse me, just start erasing this back. So we want to we want to try and get um, this area here back. And the idea is is, is that we can uh, blend this quite nicely. Okay, so this can take a little while. Um, so I'm going to push these up. I'm not going to get the best result, but I'm going to push these up just so it speeds up the tutorial for you guys. But it's that main line that, that you want to try and get back there. There we go. Can you see. So that's that's pretty good. That's that's not bad actually, um, and yeah. So you can take your time with it and just just do it at a lower flow and a lower opacity, and you'll get um, a much 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 better um, result. So from the, from here, the next step we pretty much we pretty much nailed this now um, is we want to add a new layer. So come down to the bottom here where you've got this square with a plus sign. Click on that. And that's created layer four and it's just a blank layer at the top there. Okay. Come over to the marquee tool, which is what, uh, sorry, the elliptical marquee tool, which is what we used earlier. Come over to where the sphere is, click and drag, let go. All right. And then right click and then select fill. And what we want to do is select on black okay so contents is black okay and then select okay and that's given us this black circle there then what we want to do is come up to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then this time we're going to push this up so keep pushing it up and you can see there what that's doing it's creating that shadow it's just pushing it up a little bit more and then select OK. And then what we want to do is select a different blend mode. So we're going to change this to overlay and that's going to give us a better result. And then we can drop the opacity down. OK, so we can do that. And if we click on the top tool up here, we can actually move this. So if you get it wrong, you can move it OK, and move it into position. Um, and then press Command D to deselect. And that will get rid of it. Um, so get rid of the selection rather. So you can come back up here and, and add this filter if you want to. And just, you know, but just be aware because look, as I increase that, you can see there, there's quite a hard edge there. So if I do want to move that again, press Command T and that will then move it. So I can, I can move it around over here a little bit. Um, and I can bring the top down and just move that into position a little bit there and maybe elongate it this way and elongate it that way 
So you get the idea of what you can do, but just be very aware of that, that circle that's there. Okay, and drop this opacity right down. And it's just to create that illusion of that shadow there, okay? And also you wanna be doing it from where the sun is coming from. The sun's over here, so it's quite easy uh, to guess where the shadow is gonna be more over this side, isn't it? And you can press enter and that will get rid of the selection. So once we've done that, then um, we can come down to the bottom here. We can um, go to brightness and contrast, okay? Um, we can just play around with this. Um, we can drop the, the brightness down, increase the contrast a little bit. So this is just, you know, it's gonna make the picture a bit more punchy, okay? Um, and then again, come up to the layers and just change the blend mode to darken. And then we can click on the opacity and just, you can see there, that's what it was. That's 100%, 100% is probably a bit too much. So just drop it down a little bit there. And that is it. That's how you do it. So if you then come over to your history and come down to the camera, you can click on that. That gives you a snapshot there. So that's what we've just done. So that was the before and that's the after there. It's pretty neat, pretty cool trick. Um, so let me know how you get on. I look forward to seeing some of your images um, with this sphere in. It's, it's a really fun technique. It does take a little while to, to do, but just follow them step, step by step, and you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, so I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.